one of the small stories in class action was based on my life. Him just bringing the reality of his own life to it, I think, had a huge effect on everybody, the other actors, on me, and on, on the story. I was playing a victim, and my goal from the moment I accepted the role was to try to add some humanity to the role, to not be a stereotype victim. And I think Michael Apted understood that. In fact, I know he did. You know, that image of him getting out of the van, I think, stays with you, and you don't necessarily feel the need to keep repeating it. By keeping repeating it, you're sort of special pleading in a way. You're, you're making not the right point. Not dwelling on the wheelchair was a, an important thing. He gave me a, the cinematic version of humanity, and I tried to do the rest. You know, he brought so much to it. I mean, just the very recounting of the own accident is his, in his own life, you know, when he was driving around the freeway and looked up. In the rearview mirror. And I couldn't move. I couldn't get out of the way. I just watched him kind of in slow motion. At first, I couldn't believe it was happening. You know, it was, I don't know, it was kind of like watching TV or something. And then, then the guy hit me. And the truck just smashed into his car and blew up. And, you know, he was badly burned and he lost his legs. But, you know, that, having that chilling reality, you know, I thought just brought a whole different atmosphere onto the film. We weren't sort of play acting, you know, we were, we were dealing with something real and particularly as the movie was about, you know, the explosions of cars. It was based on the true story of the Pinto, the Ford Pintos. Both Michael Apted and Gene Hackman and Lawrence Fishburne helped me go to that scary place that an actor has to go to once in a while. You know, you also come up to the issue with casting. I mean, with, with David in class action, it was a pretty, it was a crucial but small part, and then people will let you run with that. But I mean, had I, for example, with Blink, you know, asked, insisted on using a blind actress, I wouldn't have got anywhere because, you know, you needed someone who would put bottoms on seats. You know, you needed some, glamorous movie star to play it, to get the money for the film. So there's all sorts of commercial pressures on casting, which, you know, sometimes, uh, you know, make it difficult to do what you want.